Hey everyone, it's Miss Atlanta Thick Dream from MissAtlantaThickDream.com. The yummy mommy love goddess, the web diva here on your titillating Tuesday, Real Talk Tuesday, Transformation Tuesday, yada, yada, yada. We're going to go all in. I'm going to do a vlog, a dish, just kind of catch, catching you guys up here on this titillating Tuesday. MissAtlantaThickDream.com. Hey guys, um... I'm in uh, mommy mode, if you will, and I got a lot to do. Today is my off day. Let me step back. Hopefully, the camera doesn't act crazy. I got my Zen music playing in the background, um, and I got my tea. Mm -hmm. Today, I stand in front of you guys today at 222 pounds. That's right, 222 pounds, your girlfriend. I'm supposed to be 220 and shrinking, according to the doctor, um, Titus over there at Atlanta Medical. Shout out to you guys. I'm supposed to be 220, but, you know, we're kind of taking it slow. Um, Tummy's still flat, you know. I got to get in and, and get my weight training in. And um, for those of you who have sent me my congratulations on my new job, yes, 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 yes. I am not a fitness instructor for little toddlers, you know, here in Metro Atlanta. And it, and it works, it works, it works for me. It's just getting back into um, employment, <laughs> um, day shift where I'm not just at home, but I'm leaving outside of the home doing that stuff again. Like I did the gig, you know, for, uh, Ronzoni at the food nutrition conference. This is kind of the same thing. However, um, I'm using my, my fitness and my, my medical terminology and all that good stuff and some psychology. So I'm moving my body. I'm up on my feet constantly. Yeah. A baby instructor for yeah, gym and stuff. And it's a lot of uh, education and motivation with the parents and with the children and just being positive and just, it's a different um, level of happy. <laughs> it's like Walt Disney happy, you know, so it, it's kind of like what I was doing or what I do here on the internet uh, with positivity, motivating and inspiring others. And, you know, minus the kinky stuff, I'm fully dressed. I'm in yoga pants, got my Nikes on, whatever. Um, Listen to the music in the background. It's just very calming. I want to just Ganapata Namaha. You know, I want to get in this just relax goddess mode. Do my little chanting. But anyway, um, it's different and it takes a lot of concentration to have a job where you're just the happiness provider all the time. You know, I've been doing this job for eight years now. Yeah, come May. May will be my anniversary on root.com forward slash uh thick dream. That's the sexy side, the adult stuff. You don't want to know anything about it. You know, you don't have to click the link or go on to that link. But this is my life here on the internet as a, a web entertainer, a single mom. And um, I've shared my life with you guys in every different aspect I could possibly think of, you know. And um, I'm not going anywhere. I'm still here. So look at me. All oh, this 220 pounds. Mm-hmm. Hey. Um, what I want to talk about on Titillating Tuesday slash Transformation Tuesday and Sip My Tea. And I have to talk about my weight loss, first of all. Then I'm going to go into the dish of, of what I was talking about on Twitter. And if you guys follow me, or you, you don't have to follow, follow, but follow me on Facebook too. Facebook.com forward slash MS period, Miss Atlanta Thick Dream. I'm on Instagram also, MS period, Atlanta Thick Dream. So if you follow me on Dream Aphrodite Twitter, that is ATL underscore Thick Dream. My tweets will change. Sometimes they're they're erotic, kinky. Sometimes they're funny, serious, sassy, whatever. You know, I, I'm very diverse. So I will pull from different topics depending on what's going on out here on the web or what's going on in my world or other people's world, whatever. And what I see is trending or sometimes I don't even go on the trending topics. I make my own because, you know, I like staying in my own lane, you know. Anyway, so talking about my weight loss journey and I'm in a weight loss support group, a couple of them on Facebook, um, kind of sort of took a hiatus because just being a support and giving support, it has to be an equal balance because it can become overwhelming when you are constantly giving, when you also need the guidance too. So I kind of sort of pulled back. Um, and sometimes when you're on your journey and, and you have success at a different rate, maybe at a higher rate than others. Women, we tend to be a little bit testy about that. Some of them, and they might throw, you know, slick shade or little comments because you're going at a faster rate of dropping the weight, but they don't know what all you're going through. You know what I mean? Look at, look at me. I don't lost. Look at me. 
I done lost some titties, y'all. And I'm going through something. I lost my titties. When I take this bra off, you know, I, I breastfed more than, yeah, I breastfed some babies, some children, all right? So I'm going through that process of my breasts are going down. And they don't look too well without no bra on. I'll be going to Vicky's with my first chick. <laughs> um, the booby situation. I'm going through that. You know, some women, they keep their breasts. Some women lose their curves. Some women, look, they lose their hips. I still got mine. They ain't going nowhere at all. Um, my, my fingers are skinny. My toes are skinnier. Um, the calves are going down. I have these boots that were bought by a fan, like $200. I need to go in here and show you these boots. Hold on. Now, these boots right here, this is my little, ooh, hold on, camera, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me see in here, autofocus. Hello. Hey, autofocus, come back, come back. Hold on. Let me stand here, guys, hold on. Let me get closer. This autofocus is off the chain. Okay, here we go. Anyway, so this boot, um, it was bought by a fan. It was a size 11 boot. I have a leather fetish, right? So anyway, the issue is the, the boot is now big as far as the size because my size foot is going down. And the calf part, I could never really truly get up, okay? And these are plus size boots. And I'm not giving these up to any of my tranny followers, okay? You can forget that. But yeah, I can almost zip these completely up. And when I do, mm, I will be including them in the photo shoot of some sort but i've taken photos in these you guys just didn't know the way i had my legs and stuff turned and how i had it yeah i tricked the camera a little bit he -he. that's what we do as uh models um what else i've lost booty okay i don't know if you saw it or not i've lost booty i don't know i've lost booty let me see i hate to even load a camera but i want you guys to see that i've lost some booty back there all right turning around See, those of you who follow me know I've lost booty. All right, my thighs is just going at a slower rate. I've lost booty and um, I still got my curves. The only thing about it is just, it's just, huh, it's, it's, it's a total mind fuck. Can I say that? It's a total and complete mind fuck. You wake up every day or, or some days, depending on how your weight loss is going, and you look like a different person. Okay, so that's why I told the ladies in my um, support group that I'm in. This is a total mind. It is. Seeing someone you haven't seen in years or seeing a new person, you know, it's different. And, um, yeah. Go back to some of my other vlogs and some of my other pics. Eight years, my history's out there. You guys will see. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Let me do it one again. Yeah. Booty. Anyway. So... With that, you know, I don't hate on anyone who's going through their journey or transformation. Um, I, I give support as someone gives it to me. I, I'm, I reciprocate. So the energy is never one where I'm just slick hating on people. I'm not, my DNA is, is not like that. I'm not a slick hater. So I don't have the ability to do that. You know, that's just not a dream. All right. But um, there are other people who do that. Send and shade for this, send and shade. Oh, girl, you, that, da, 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 da. oh, girl, you, you need a hush. You coming out good. My thing is, everybody has their own issues with their body, their their insides, whatever they're going through. Um, no one is perfect. So we all have those those attributes, that, the physical ones that we don't like, all right? And just something we have to learn to embrace, love, whatever. If you're going to do something about it or not. I've said that. Or not. Nah. So with me, um, on this weight loss journey, I still have no regret, regrets. Only that I have to stay with my appointments with a nutritionist, follow along, because I do intend on going and getting some plastic surgery. <laughs> no lie. I want to get some plastic surgery. I want to get my arms done. I want to get my boobs done um, with the possible booty lift. All right. I want to get a booty lift come next year. So I have to, you know, follow up with the office so that they will approve me to get plastics done next year. That's why I'm working, <laughs> trying to get my money up. You know, look, I'm like Kanye. I got some past due bills, but I won't be specific. Ooh. I'm not perfect. I'm a single mom. What do you expect? Nothing. This don't run on what, cotton candy, you know, and pixie dust. No, it doesn't. Sorry. So I'm going to have past two bills that I'm behind, 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 behind in, but I'm not going to worry about it. It's just trusting in God. Um, and I'm going into my own little personal stuff. 
trusting in God, having faith, um, having some type of belief system, some, I don't care if it's just a little tad bit. Like I told my boyfriend, I was like, you gotta have some type of faith. Cause if you don't, nothing gonna happen. Nothing gonna happen right for you. Nothing. Let me lower this camera again. Um, and I love what I'm seeing today. Um, and I got so much to do. Son has an orchestra concert tomorrow and I have to do things in my class. I have to prepare for my curriculum. Yes, we have a curriculum when you're doing child fitness and you're a teacher. Um, what else? <sighs> my own oldest, um, those of you who know I went to Myrtle Beach, and she's getting into her own with her new job and stuff. I'm so happy for her. She's come a long way and I still manage her. And when I say manage and I, and I told this person that I'm with now, Yes, I have X amount of kids, but I still manage this amount of kids. She's not in my home, but I still take care of her because, see, I still have to nurture her. She's not 21, but she's a she's a grown woman, you know, off on her own, in her own relationship, her situation. So I still, you know, she calls me mom. This, this, that, no, no, no. She has all these emotion, emotional things going on, and I have to guide her. Just like I'm guiding some grown folks in my life. Going on to the emotional vampires, okay? Yeah. Let me calm down. calm down. Calm down. The things that I'm about to say, my disclaimer is I'm saying them out of love. I'm going to say them out of love. Like, I love you guys. I love you guys who hit up my inbox. I love you guys who who push like. I love you guys who 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 hit me up just, just checking on me, who retweet my stuff, who who just follow what I say in my journey. I love all of you, honestly, from the deepest parts of my being. Here's the thing, the for real, for real, real talk, <laughs> Tuesday, and emotional vampires. At some point, I'm going to come up with a whole nother po uh, post with definitions and different scenarios where you may encounter real life emotional vampires. And these people are people who, typical friend, they may be a ride or die friend or whatever, homie, lover, friend, boo thing, text buddy, whomever. When you are on your life journey and doing things that you need to do in your life, knocking off your goals and, and whether it's losing weight or getting your degrees or, you know, getting a new car and getting married, having babies, you're knocking off things on your list, right? You have some people who've done that, completed that, but they're in a different part of their life and they have become emotionally dependent upon you. Yes, I'm guilty of it. And remember what I said, if I speak on something with passion and if I speak on a matter, obviously either I've been there or I know a little bit, something, something on it where I can be the authority to speak on it. So I'm going to speak on this matter today just because I know because I'm dealing with it. <laughs> and the emotional vampire situation, it, it it's tricky because you don't want to cut off everybody. You don't want to just like, like I want to do, just tell everybody in my inbox, just to shut the fuck up, let me alone. I don't want to do that. Okay. I don't want to do that because we are we are made, we, are, we were created to engage with different energies and different people on this planet. We were not made to just live in a bubble, to sit here and just whatever, breed without, you know, just poop popping out babies. We need to, you know, deal with people. So only thing I can say about, I, I'll have one particular situation in mind. I'll just kind of stick to that so I can stay on task. When you've been besties with people, maybe more than one, I said, that's, that's why I said people more than one person for many years and you've become their emotional um, support. Sometimes you become an outlet for them to plug in to you. They run to you. You're the go-to person. You're the one that, that, that just seems to have all the answers. And in the meanwhile, you can't handle your own shit. Y'all know how that is, right? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. You try to handle your own shit because you're too busy, as my boyfriend called it, being Dr. Phil. I'm being Dr. Phil. And uh, motivating others, inspiring others. And you still got your own shit to do. And you got this person who is just very reliant, uh, relying on you. It's pretty much like they are attached to you. They're, 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 they're suckling from you. You know, because I used to breastfeed. I'm, I'm using these terms. So I have, I have energies or, or, or individual people in, in my personal life who have become emotionally dependent on me. Nothing wrong with that. But what becomes a problem is that you are draining to the point where you're not giving that support back equally. And then your energy is just, just attaching itself on to me like, like a leech and just sucking me dry. Or you are just putting your negative energy and your energy force onto me. I got a problem with that, Shotty. 
because y'all know me, I'm positive for the most part every single day. All right. I'm real. I share what I feel like I need to share. And then I back away when I feel like people just step it on my boundaries or I need to just check my whole situation. All right. Shut it down. Handle me and mine, which is my kids, my my foxhole, whatever I need to do. Because a lot of times people will give you all types of advice. They will set your ass up to fail. And you don't even know it. Just sabotaging you, okay? Coming from anywhere. See, with the difference between myself and other people, I go to God. I go to my higher power, okay? When I when I think of things and I say things, I don't put myself in any of this. When I say, and I, I and I, when I say that, anything that I say to a friend in deep confidence, and I'm helping them out of a situation that's very, very dear to them, I'm not gonna just say the first thing to come up on my mind. I'm gonna really say something. I'm gonna pray about it. God, please, just help me say, you know, help this person. That I'm going to really think about it. Not everyone does that, all right? Now, I'm, if I'm putting myself in there, it's because what I say, I'm the authority and I know my, and I know what I'm saying, right? Okay. But I'm not going to do it just to make my friend, um, what do you want to call it, um, unhappy or put them in an unpleasant situation. No, because the type of person that I am, and that's online and in my real world, I want everyone to come up. See, when I go up, I don't want to leave my friends down here. I want them coming up with me. So if you got a, a situation where you don't have a man, uh, you don't have a job or whatever the case may be, I want you to come up and be there with me because I don't want to be sitting at my table and in, so to speak, and you milking me or we're not on the, we're not equals anymore and we can't even relate. Then I don't have a choice but not to go on because we've outgrown We've outgrown our friendship, our relationship. So I don't want that to happen with anybody that I am personally involved with. Okay. So I want them to come up. But here's where it, the buck stops. The buck stops when you ask me to pray for you. You ask me to give you advice and give you advice or do whatever. And you're not doing certain things that you need to do. Because no matter how much I pray for you, no matter how much positivity and meditation, how many Zen things I do and Ganamata, Namaha, how many different things that I try to evoke and place in you, if you don't see that you are worth more and that you have to do certain other steps for this big thing that you hoping and praying for, if you don't see that, all of my magic that I got here and this is God is body and what God has given me to say to you, it's not going to work. At all, at all. You got to make those steps to make a difference in your life. Because here's the good thing about how life is. We are all given free will to do what we want to do, however we want it, how many times, how nasty, how freaky, how kinky. We want to do it, okay? If there's something else that you are required to do and you're not doing it, all that other stuff that you want to do is not going to happen without major, major... <laughs> Like difficulty, okay? Without major difficulty. Keep that in mind. So you can do whatever you want to do, but you're going to have some difficult times because trust and believe, the kid here, I've had some difficult times because I wanted to do things my way. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. Now, <laughs> I'm, I'm done with that. Emotional vampires. And also what I've noticed is that I'm going into mixing up my, uh, my personnel. So I did say that I, I am in a new a new type of relationship. It's no longer um, a non-traditional or unconventional relationship. It is now of a monogamous relationship. And I can't even say the word I've been poly. It's monogamous, Monog monogamous relationship. And kind of giving people, person, you know, walking papers, pink slips. The way I did it was kind of whatever, abrupt kind of abrasive, if you will, some words that I said, but um, I let go and I, I let go like, boom. Mm -hmm. I didn't do that to the emotional vampires, whatever, that, that, that situation that I had in my poly stuff, that's an emotional yeah, vacuum vampire situation as well. Yeah, yeah. Y'all seen my, my vlogs, y'all seen my, my writings and my mind where I was. Anyway, um, <laughs> y'all see some of the things, you can kind of see the little innuendos and my vibe. Um, but it was a learning. It was a life experience. I, I don't have any regrets in that. Um, and, and we're amicable. There was no type of bad um, blood or words that were said. I mean, I said what I need to say, like, 
had you done X, Y, Z, we wouldn't be right here. All right. And I did kind of like what my mom did. Well, she always taught me, um, you want to get rid of one person, put another one in their space. And I did that. Like, boom. Like, I used my little powers that I got, so to speak. So it was different. And so now, not only am I learning um, about my new man in my life, my Mr. Official, I'm also learning how to make a relationship that I had that was very um, mm, mm, sexual, spiritual, emotionally involved, um, it's, it's platonic and I'm, I'm, I'm resetting certain boundaries with people. And I have to let those of you who have sent me dick pics, those of you who have sent me inbox messages, that ain't going to that, 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 that ain't gonna go too good over this way. Okay. For work or just, you want to, you know, reply. Oh, cute. Uh, I can't be responding to stuff like that. Cause that also brings in certain energy into my world. I can't do that playfully. Can't do that. I can do that before. See, that was Polly, you know. Polly, bro, man, don't care about stuff like that, you know. But when you, I'm not saying that this one does, but when you doing that kind of stuff, doing the most, I gotta, I gotta just pretty much respect the relationship that I have. So it's, it's all new, y'all. Some things I'm learning. He learning me, you know. He learned the whole situation. He knows about Miss Atlanta Thick Dream, and we're just learning each other. And it, and it's a challenge because I'm starting a new job too, you know, trying to learn curriculum and summer's coming i got a daughter going through co going to college i just need a hug and a kiss that's it and i really want to say fuck everybody and all that shit look at me <laughs> oh, it's all about me but i'm not selfish like that i'm very selfless i still come to check on you guys and fill you in on little things and you know might write a little here and there and uh, send a little tweet and whatnot and um, send some pics out to on Twitter. But in Instagram, I try to do more Instagram. But anyway, um, with this relationship, I can say that I'm going to give him, I'm going to give him a better chance at getting to know me without pushing him away. Um, so with all this I got going on with work and, 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 and home and, and friends, I'm not going to isolate myself. Like some people do, they get in a relationship and they just shut everybody out. I can't do that because this man has a life of his own before he met me. All right. We just have to incorporate one another into each other's lives. So that's, that's the thing that we have to do. And he's trying and he, and he's doing good for the most part. He's doing good. He's a family man, church going man, y'all. You know, oh, he ain't trying to, you know, whatever. But <laughs> and uh, he's a churchy, and he, I mean, not like you know, Jesus freak. You know how some people you can't talk to them without them talking about. You tell them, hey, how you doing? They be like, oh yeah, God is good. Da, da, da. You know, is not nah, he ain't like that. He goes to worship. He's praying um, for different things in his life and his family. And so um, I like that. I like that. You got to have some type of. Uh, of, of something, believing in something, some type of faith, something, you know, not just out here, you know? Um, and, and, and not saying that Chief doesn't, Chief is real heavy in his, but, and we prayed together and all that good stuff. My relationship with Chief, yeah, we did that. And like I said, our relationship was more like a spiritual type bond and it was sexual too. So it was just, it's really weird. And, and I'm just going to tell you, just because you leave certain relationships that that bond isn't there. No, that bond still is there. You have to redefine it. Okay. You have to redefine it. And it, and it, it could be a challenge when you don't take a break. All right. Take a pause or whatnot. Um, so, um, do I want to dish any more on that? Um, let's see, Mr. Official. What can I say about Mr. Official? He's athletic. Um, he's intelligent. And so far, so good. He hasn't really met my strike list. And I said to myself, I'm going to give it a shot because as long as he's not a rapist, child molester, drug user, you know, um, what else? A felon. Those, hey, we, hey, we good. All right. We real good. As long as you are not those things, I'm pretty much tolerable and I'm going to, um, work with you on some things, you know, not cancel you out, which I've been known to do for those who try to get close to me. I've canceled you out and I'm giving you a chance. And that's just because of certain things that you guys know that have happened to me being stalked 
um, came forth for various reasons because of this, all this right here. You know, I, I've, I've grown some type of uh, discernment that is so, so, mm, you can't get at me like, like, like how you used to back in the day. Yeah. So guys have tried me in every, every angle I can just imagine. And Poe guy coming in right here, he don't know none of this. I'm just slowly telling him. But um, anyway, I looked at, what, 25 minutes? Dang, this almost turned into an episode. What? Hey. <laughs> Uh, what else? What else? What else? What I want to say about him. Um, oh, not even about him. What I notice is that when individuals, males, um, you tell them that you are off the market, you, and then because of me, I was in a non-conventional relationship and I get to talk to, do whatever I want, do how I want to do it. Right. So a lot of men can't accept the fact that you were moved on. You're no longer doing X, Y, Z, just like, um, I'm no longer doing like the porn stuff. You know, I'm not doing that anymore. Yeah, I still be on route, whatever. I might have the live cameras going, whatever. Um, but some people, that was hard for them to see that transition in me, certain things I'm not doing anymore. You know, like videos and clips and stuff. Um, and I'm just solo girl. I'm just me and my own lane, my own brand, whatever. That was hard for other people to understand that I'm not, a, I was never aspiring to be a porn star. And some people still classify me as a porn star. No, that's not me. I'm just Miss Atlanta Victory. I'm an entertainer, um, a web model, fetish model. I'm a blogger. You know, I, I'm a motivational coach. You know what I'm saying? And, and I'm, a, I'm a health advocate. So, and a love goddess too. So I, it's hard for people to see you grow into your new own, you know, into your own womanhood, your awake womanhood. And they will try to pull you back by any little thing, dick pics, calling your phone, Find, you know, oh, pretending like they're your friend, trying to get in your business with your new man, all right? And then sending slick shade your way, whether it's text message or in the conversation, talking about the new man. Well, really? Oh, yeah, da, da, da. You know, yeah, I get that. And it, I get it to the extreme where, oh, buddy was just talking about, oh, he can't do it like this, or I know his dick ain't big as mine, yeah. Buddy want pictures of a new man dick. I'm not showing you that. But it won't pictures up. This ain't Chief now. This ain't Chief. Chief ain't. Chief don't get down like that. Okay. We we don't get down. Yeah. X1. Chief. X wanted a, a picture of Chief's dick too. Yeah, he did. This was the X, you know, before Chief. And now he's. I can't even. Y'all know who he is. Y'all remember him. Mr. Yeah, him. Detectives are crazy, and their sexual stuff is kind of on a crazy, loopy thing, too. Yeah, he wants dick pictures of, and I know I shouldn't be divulging that. Sorry, boo, but uh, I'm not giving you no pictures of my new man dick, okay? All I know is it's good enough for me. He's mad because, well, damn it. I gotta go because, you know, Mr. Fish on the line. Talk to y'all later. Signing on MissAlanthicDream.com.